South Carolina women's basketball yesterday lost their first time since the first SEC, tur uh, SEC game in the championship yesterday, actually. And I want to delve into why that happened. First of all, Kentucky made 6 of 14 on threes, and they shot the ball 42.1%, 24 for 47 and 57. And they only turned the ball over 10 times, which is pretty good. And defensively, they forced 13 turnovers on South Carolina. Of course, they did get out rebound, Kentucky did, by 12. And they did allow six threes out of 15. And they did allow 20 free throw attempts for South Carolina, but South Carolina only made 12 free throws. And Kentucky made 10 out of 13 on free throws. So as you can tell, and they had, and Kentucky had two double digit scores and same goes for South Carolina. But Driana Edwards from Kentucky, she had 27 in the game. And six blocks for Kentucky compared to five blocks for South Carolina. But if you go look at look at it, points in the paint, South Carolina 132 to 26 points on turnover, 7 to 5. That is one of the differences. Second chance points, Kentucky had 12, South Carolina had 20. Fast break points, four for South Carolina, two for Kentucky. But bench points, 20, 34 points for Kentucky off the bench. When compared to 10 points for South Carolina. So it's kind of evident what you got to have to do against South Carolina. And South Carolina could still be the number one overall seed, but... It wouldn't shock me if, if Stanford was the number one overall seed since they won their conference tournament in the Pac-12. But in the first game, South Carolina lost this year. They basically, uh, Missouri shot the ball 43.1%, 25-58. They made 13 out of 16 free throws. They got up and they had... Four uh, double-digit scores in the game. They only had one block compared to South Carolina's eight at the time. And Missouri only turned the ball over eight times. So really, if you turn the ball over ten times or less, you have a higher chance of winning. And of course, 42 points in the paper for South Carolina compared to Missouri's 32. Eight points off turnovers for South Carolina, but only four for Missouri. Second chance points, 20 for South Carolina, nine for Missouri, three fast break points for South Carolina and one for Missouri. And Missouri only had two bench points all game. And South Carolina had 22. And, they, and Missouri shot the ball 7 for 15 on threes. So they made, they made them count. And they were out rebound out of themselves. Because South Carolina had 47 rebounds. To Missouri's 37. So you could still win. Potentially against South Carolina when you get out-rebounded by a double, double margin. I mean, that's, and that's in their, both their losses this year. We'll see if the South Carolina is still a one seed in an NCAA tournament for the women's side. I'm still, they're going to have to be a for sure one seed. It's more like the number one overall seed is the only thing looming because Stanford, you know, Won their Pac-12 tournament pretty convincingly. And you know what this means for Kentucky. They're automatically in the NCAA tournament now. They were right on the bubble. And they're in. For sure. I just want to break it down why Kentucky law beat South Carolina and wins basketball. And that was a stunner. I mean, the number one overall team in the country. Definitely the rankings are going to shake up a bit. Anyways, if you like this content, hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys later. Let's give me up to 400 subscribers or more by the end of this year.